Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Kohler Bolera pull-down faucet. I have purchased this particular faucet because of the quality of the Kohler name, the beautiful looks and finish of the faucet, the heavy-duty fastening system for fastening it to your sink, the magnetic spray head, and Kohler's lifetime warranty. The first thing to do is to turn off both the hot and the cold water underneath the sink. The hot water should always be on your left and the cold water should always be on your right. Turn both valves clockwise to turn off the water. Put a bowl under the hot water valve. Use an adjustable wrench to remove the supply line from the valve. Take the supply line off in a counterclockwise manner. Put another bowl under the cold water valve. Remove the supply line in a counterclockwise manner. This is the view looking up at the bottom of the sink where the old faucet comes through. Remove the supply lines from the old faucet. This is a basin wrench. Use a basin wrench to remove the fasteners of the old faucet. Basin wrenches are a very valuable and time-saving tool for this task. It grabs the fasteners and removes them in a counterclockwise manner. Pull the old faucet out of the sink. Clean the sink where the old faucet was. This is stain-free plumber's putty. Make a small ribbon of this putty and place it in the groove of the Kohler plate gasket. If your gasket is made to seal without using plumber's putty, then you won't need to use the plumber's putty. Make sure that your valves are the correct size to accept the supply lines from the Kohler faucet. Generally, the older Kohler faucets are 3 8 of an inch and the newer ones are one quarter of an inch but double check to make sure. So make sure that your valves fit the Kohler supply lines. One of my valves was the wrong size, so I changed it out. Place the escutcheon gasket over the hoses and up the threaded part of the faucet. There are two notches on the escutcheon that fit into the faucet body. Place the faucet plate with its plate gasket over the hoses and up onto the faucet body. There are two gasket prongs that align with two holes in the faucet body. The plate pieces snap into place and fit on the faucet body. Assemble the faucet with the plate and the plate gasket. Place the hoses and the threaded portion of the faucet in the center hole of the sink. Put the heavy duty washer and the threaded ring over the hoses. If your faucet comes with a large rubber washer, it goes first so that it will be right up against the sink. First work the heavy duty washer past the hoses and onto the threaded area of the faucet body. Now work the threaded ring onto the threaded area and screw it onto the threads. Screw it all the way up the threaded area until it's hand tight. Tighten the two screws with a number two Phillips screwdriver. It's the screws compressing against the heavy duty washer that holds the faucet tightly in place. Attach the 3 8 water line to the 3 8 hot water valve. Do not over tighten. Snug it up real nicely but don't over tighten it. Attach the 3 8 cold water line to the 3 8 cold water valve. Again, don't over tighten it. Now, put the weight over the sprayer hose. Position the weight 2 to 3 inches above the bottom of the cabinet on the hose. Attach the provided cable tie below the weight. Push the hose completely into the outlet fitting. 
you will hear a nice click when it is seated. Turn on the hot water and watch for leaks. Turn on the cold water and watch for leaks. Also, check the sprayer fitting for leaks. You'll have to check this area while running the faucet. Clean the excess plumber's putty from around the outside of the faucet base. Check for smooth operation. To turn it on, simply pull the lever out to the right. For warm water, pull it towards you. For cold water, push it back. There are two settings on the faucet. Simply pull it down and you're looking at the stream. Press the top part of the button and you have the shower. It even has a shut off button. Press the top button to shut it off. It works on either flow type. The magnetic handle snaps it back into place. I hope you enjoy your new Kohler pull-down faucet. I will put links in my video description for the Kohler Bolera pull-down kitchen faucet. And I'll put a link for the Delta Leland pull-down kitchen faucet, as well as the Moen Brantford pull-down kitchen faucet. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.